everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Bible Chatter. I am your host, Eli Jr., and welcome to tonight's show. I hope everyone's had a decent day. My day has been average. I got a lot going on, and my health ain't good. Uh, I got to have neck surgery. My neck's really bad. Uh, it's keeping me up, and it, it's just, it, 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 it's really brutal. I got muscles out of place here. It, it's brutal. Spine damage. It just, it's been hurting me all day. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you guys are having a better day, but I'm blessed in Jesus Christ. So, I can smile, and I can, I can, I can have joy because I have good paradise to look forward to in Christ Jesus we have to endure. So, guys, tonight is part nine of the Hearts of Fire series. We continue with Adele's torturous journey uh, uh, during her life. Uh, we continue with her testimony and her torturous life as she was serving Christ Jesus. So far we've been through, she had a witness, her family getting killed, and she fleed into the woods and jungle. She was apprehended. Okay? And <laughs> now they're all over her. So now we're going to pick up with the next part. The next part is Christina. So here we go with the book. We're continuing with the Hearts of Fire series. At four o'clock in the morning, Adele was crying out to God. Why won't you let me die? The tears kept coming one after the other. Steadily rolling down her face as she repeated the plaguing question, why? The unrelenting threats continued outside her room. One man almost succeeded in stabbing her by pushing his machete through the outside wall into her room. Two of the wives who had visited Adele the previous day also returned, begging her to eat, but she refused. She remained in her room, managing to get a little sleep in the stillness of the morning, but the majority of the time she huddled against the wall and wept. She continued to pray for Methu in her, in her laws, but mostly she prayed for Christina. Then the news came. Adele, Adele, Sabar called, and he rushed into her room. Some men are outside. They say they captured your daughter, Christina. It was a risk, a big risk, but Adele had to know. Could Christina really be alive, or was it just a cruel deception to lure her away from Sabar's home? There was only one way to find out. They traveled by boat to the village of Salubi. <laughs> Six jihad soldiers, Adele Sabar, who had Adele's crest, had agreed to go along, and a young captive named Mas Maxi, another friend of Antos. Maxi was only seven. Adele grabbed the young girl and hugged her tightly. She wept as she brushed Maxi's matted hair away from her face. It was a familiar face, a friend of the family. Adele sat next to Maxi, holding her and caressing her head on the short journey to Salubi. Maxi reminded Adele so much of Anto, but the peaceful moment quickly vanished as Adele saw the armed soldiers waiting on the shoreline. They yanked Adele out of the boat, and their brutal treatment still fresh in her memory returned. Ma Maxi was terrified as she watched the vicious attacks on Adele. She screamed loudly, and her body went into an uncontrollable convulsion. Hearing her young friend's cries, Adele again proclaimed, The blood of Jesus is all-powerful. She now feared the trip to Salubi had nothing to do with Christina. Hope was quickly fading as the beatings continued. Sabar began yelling at the men, begging them to stop, managing to free Adele from their grasp. He helped her into the large home just beyond their grasp, uh, the shoreline where the other captives were being held. They told her he had to leave. There is nothing more I can do for you. If I interfere anymore, they will kill me too. I'm sorry. There were, there were other women in the house trembling as the hor horrid chanting of the men outside continued. Adele had buried her face deep in her hands to weep as, when she heard footsteps running toward her. Looking up, Adele saw her. It was Christina. 
Christina threw herself into her mother's arms and cried, Mommy, Mommy, they held each other tight. And Christina continued struggling to the word, to get the words out, I'm so sorry, Mommy, I'm so sorry, they killed Grandmama. And I saw his body, Mommy, I saw Anto. They killed him too, oh, Mommy, I know, Christina, I know they killed them. The memory was still too much, and Adele began to cry uncontrollably. Christina didn't know what to say, so she just kissed her mother again and again. She kissed her mother. So that's good. That's good that Christina's still alive, but the rest of the family's dead. So they killed the men and kept the women, of course, for their own dirty reasons. But, uh, well, that is part nine. And the next part was titled, Seeking an Answer That Would Not Come. So we will see what that means on tomorrow's episode of Bible Chatter. The last two episodes had nothing to do with the book. I did different topics. But tonight I'm back on the Hearts of Fire. And tomorrow will be part 10 of the Hearts of Fire. As we're digging deeper into the story of Adele's vicious, treacherous testimony. So until next time, stay good, stay godly in Jesus, and love your neighbor as yourself. God bless you, and so long.